Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about an affordable air compressor for your Toyota 4Runner. Now, if you guys are going off-roading, most likely you're gonna be airing down your tires and you're gonna need something like an air compressor to air it back up. Now, I know not everybody can afford an ARB air compressor, myself included. So if you're looking for something affordable, then I may have the ticket here. Now, this here is a Viair 88P and I paid $89 for this on Amazon. And I'll leave a link for you guys down in the description below. But this is rated for up to 33 inch tires. And I'm actually gonna be testing it on my 34 inch tires back here to see if it's up to the task. Now it has a duty cycle of 25 minutes at 30 PSI and I suspect that should be plenty for most of us if you're only airing up your vehicle. And what that means is it can only run for 25 minutes at 30 PSI before it shuts off and overheats. I suspect that it's only going to take us about 4 minutes to air up our tires so we should be well below that 25 minute time limit. If you're trying to air up your buddy's truck, make sure you tell him about this video so he can go buy his own air compressor. But if you're going to be doing it for him on the trail, Make sure you actually wait a while so that way it doesn't overheat and destroy your air compressor. Before we get started, let's take a look at what's in the box. So it comes in a nice little case like this, which is really nice for everything. And it comes with a really long hose. I think it's about 10 feet or 12 feet or so. And also a 10 feet power cord. And all you need to do is just hook this up to the battery. And it already has a built-in inline fuse. So it should be ready to go right out of the box. It also comes with some manuals and some papers. And it also has some attachments that I can't seem to find, but it's for basically things like, you know, footballs and basketballs where you can pump up the tire and also for like bikes. But basically it comes with this thing here where you screw it onto your tire, which I don't personally like because it takes too long, but it does get a more secure fit on there. So that's something you can consider. And then on the other side, like I mentioned, it's just a battery clamp. So let's go ahead and just put it to the test. Aaron down our tires to go to the mall. All right, you guys, we are down to 15 PSI. You can see it on the gauge here. And I've aired down the front passenger and the rear passenger. And what we're gonna do now is air up the tires and time it and see how long it takes to get it back up to 33 PSI, which is what the door jam says, I believe. And then I'm gonna air it down again on both tires and keep airing it up one after another to simulate what would happen on the trail. So that way we can test to make sure that the duty cycle on this air compressor is rated to handle these tires. Got a little light here too. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna turn on the vehicle because you will get a lot more amperage and volts out of the uh, air compressor. But I'm gonna leave that off camera so you guys don't get annoyed with the noise, but just know that the vehicle's gonna be on and then we're gonna fire this up and start the timer. All right, you guys, we just finished up airing all four tires up just like we would on the trail from 15 PSI all the way up to 32 or 33 PSI. And as you saw, it took about two minutes and 10 seconds or so per tire for a total of about nine minutes total. So we're definitely not at the duty cycle of this thing yet. And you can see it aired up my 34 inch tires just fine. Now, just for giggles, I'm gonna air it down to six PSI to simulate when somebody is going to the snow, they're probably gonna air it down all the way down to six or seven PSI to get the most traction they can. And I'm gonna see how long it takes to air it back up. That's what I'm gonna be doing when I go out to the snow. So I wanna make sure that this thing is ready to go. So this would be the fifth tire that I'm gonna be airing back up. 
So we're gonna see how well it does. All right guys, we're just about there and you can see it took three minutes and 17 seconds to go from seven PSI all the way back up to 32 PSI. All right, you guys, as you saw, four tires aired up in under nine minutes total. So this baby only ran nine minutes to get those four tires back up to the proper PSI so you can drive home. It's ready for 25 minutes at 30 PSI. So if you wanted to just air up your tires to 30 PSI to play it safe, that's probably fine to drive home. But I went ahead and did all four tires to 33 just to show you that it would work. I even aired this tire up from 7 PSI all the way back up to 33. So it should be good to go if you guys want a budget air compressor for your Toyota 4Runner. Now there are some cons to this system and I want to point them out. Uh, this system here, the wire is a little bit too short. So you have to kind of leave it in the middle of the vehicle here. Fortunately, the air hose is still quite long. So you can still get to the back passenger tire. So you do have to walk over here to turn the unit back on, but it shouldn't be that big of an issue because the gauge is over here anyway. So once you're done, just unplug it. The driver's side, it probably will reach all the way. It's just because the battery is on the driver's side. So it's a little bit farther over here, so it doesn't quite reach. Another con with this unit is the fact that this connector here screws on to your valve stem. And what that means is you can't air down your tires with this unit. You actually have to have a separate tool. You saw me using this in the video, and that's because you need this now to air down your tires. On my other unit here, this is the 90P. It has this kind of style clamp connector. And on the back here, it has a little button, and you can actually let air out by just depressing this and this makes it a little bit more convenient because now you don't need an extra tool to uh, check your tire pressure. So you can just air it down once you're done, just depress it and then take it off and you're good to go. Again, it's not that big of a deal. If you have a unit like this, this is much faster to air down your tires anyways. This would literally take all the air out of your tires in less than 30 seconds probably. So probably wanna invest in one of these anyways just to speed up your air down process. Another potential con is this air hose is really long and it kind of gets in the way a little bit. I mean, you probably don't even need this long of a air hose. Um, six feet is probably all you need, but it came with this huge, I think 10 or 12 feet hose to make sure that it can accommodate all kinds of vehicles. But for our forerunners, probably don't need that much. And you'll also notice that when you try to put it back in the bag, it's a little bit cumbersome because there's so much hose, but I guess, you know, having more is probably better than less. All right guys, just for giggles, I also borrowed a buddy of mine's Smitty Built 2781. This baby is a monster. It's about $170, so almost twice the price of the other compressor. But you can see here, this guy is humongous. So we're gonna test the same test, just so you guys have a comparison with the budget-friendly tire inflator and this basically off-road tire inflator here. All right guys, vehicle is on and we're down to 15 PSI and we're gonna time this to get it back up to 33 PSI. So a minute and 15 seconds, that is quite impressive. All right, we're gonna do the same test. We're gonna go down to seven PSI and air it back up to 33 and see how long that takes. All right, you guys, we were just about there and it took one minute, 55 seconds. Holy smokes, that is quick. So you guys can see it's about twice as fast as the budget tire compressor. Now there's one thing I don't like about this tire compressor, the fact that this cord is really short. You can see here I had to bring out a stool just to put it on top of because it wouldn't reach all the way to the engine bay onto the ground right here. Now it's probably not that big of a deal. The hose is pretty long, so you probably can just leave it at the front of the vehicle and you should be able to get to all your tires pretty easily. Just for comparison here, you can see this one is much more massive than this one almost double the size so double the performance double the price really up to you what you want to do well guys that pretty much wraps up the video i just wanted to show you guys an affordable option if you wanted to go off road and you didn't want to buy a 500 arb air compressor this Viar one seems pretty solid for a reasonable price the old unit i used to run is a 90p which is only rated for 31 inch tires and i've been using it on these 34s aka 33s here for a really long time and they seem to hold up just fine. So this 88P unit, which is rated for 33 by Viair, should be no problem for most of you guys. 
I'm going to be carrying both of these air compressors with me just to make sure if my old one ends up failing for some reason because I'm using it for the wrong reasons, I have this one as a backup. Or maybe I'll use this one as my primary and use the other one as a backup. If you guys are interested in this unit, I'm going to leave video links down in the description below where you can find it. I'll also leave a link to this tire deflator down in the video description as well in case you guys are interested in purchasing one of these. They're very inexpensive. I think this is probably about 25 bucks or so, but I'll leave a link down in the video description for you guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you guys like content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out other videos on my channel because I have a lot of them. And as always guys, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.